All right there, preppies, year ones and year twos of Rosewood State School. This week, I have a new instrument for you to have a listen to and have a look at. Here it is, right here. As you can see, it has a bell, just like the clarinet and the saxophone, and the purpose of that is for the sound to come out. It has a mouthpiece, and it has three keys. This instrument is called the trumpet. Now, unlike the clarinet and the saxophone that are part of the woodwind family, the trumpet belongs to a different instrument family called the brass family. The brass family is so called because the type of metal that the instrument is made from is made of brass. And the brass family, there's a specific way on how to play the brass instrument. So if you remember the clarinet and the saxophone, I just blow air into it, I pop my mouth and I just blow air around the mouthpiece, close up the mouthpiece with my mouth and blow into it. With the trumpet, you have, with um, any brass instrument really, you have to blow air obviously, but your lips are pursed together like this, and you make a buzzing sound like you're blowing a raspberry. All right. Let's have a hit. Listen to what the instrument sounds like. We were to describe the timbre or the quality of sound of a trumpet when you get a good sound out of it. It sounds full and rich. We'd also call it brassy because it is a brass instrument. All brass instruments, whether they're trumpets or French horns or tubers or whatever, had the same sort of quality of sound to them, which is brassy. You could hear the trumpet is loud. It's louder than the saxophone. So the timbre, it's loud, it's brassy, it's rich, it's bold, it's hard. Some people might find it harsh, the sound of a trumpet. All of these words are describing words or adjectives that we can use to describe the sound of a trumpet. Now, the clarinet and the saxophone have many, many, many different keys to play many different notes. But as you can see, the trumpet only has three notes, three keys, I should say. So how can a trumpet play lots of different sounds and lots of different notes if it only has three keys? The trick is, again, all to do with your lips. If I want to play higher notes, I have to tighten my lips like this. And to play the lower notes, I have to loosen my lips. So when I'm playing, <laughs> Yeah, you laugh now. Yeah, it looks funny and sounds funny, but that's how you play the instrument. So I'm gonna play you something now without playing any keys at all. Let's see how many different notes I can play just with my lips. You ready? Mr. Chiara needs to practice a bit more, but the gist of it is Mr. Chiara can play one, two, three, four, five sounds just with his lips. It doesn't matter if you're playing um, any of the keys. Mr. Chiara really needs to practice. He plays better on his woodwind instruments than his brass instruments. I need to practice my brass instruments more but you get the idea, right? Okay, so the in summary, the trumpet belongs to the brass family because of how you blow into it and because it's made out of brass. You can play many different notes with the keys and your lips is what makes the notes higher and lower. The trumpet does not have an octave key like the clarinet and the saxophone does. You have to use your lips in order to make the higher and lower notes. All right, that's Mr. Tioto for now. Keeping this lesson short and sweet, 
Um, please keep bringing in those materials to make our silly instruments after the holidays. I'm looking forward to doing that with you, but all you guys. You guys are doing really good at describing how sound is made from different instruments, which will be good for when you do your assessment task, making your own silly instrument. And you're getting a lot better at explaining how sound is created on these different instruments. So that's really good to see. This is all very good assessment preparation for you guys. That's it for now. Until next time, bye for now.